Hi Scorpio, welcome to your January and February 2018 Bliss Report. Now in case you're wondering what a Bliss Report is, I'm just calling my former Abundance Readings Bliss Reports now because I'm trying to broaden the definition of what abundance is. It's not just about dollars and cents and careers and things like that. It's about doing things that make you happy and seeing, I, you know, hopefully some of these cards that I lay out will resonate with things that you've been wanting to do or just things that you were hoping would um, come into your reality. So I'm going to be using my Morgan Greer deck along with picking a card from the Akashic Tarot and the Keepers of Light Oracle cards. And let's see. <clears throat> get, I'm just going to cut the cards from the side here and pick. These are so thick. I feel like I, I do got two cards. Well, guess what? You get two cards from the Akashic Tarot. I'll read those in a minute. And, oh, you know what, I'm, sh I'm shuffling this because I just picked it off the top and I hadn't shuffled, so, and I just got that card for the last reading, so, um, I at least like to shuffle most of the time. Um, the other one I cut the deck at least, I didn't just pick it off the top. Okay. All right. So, at the heart of the matter of this reading is the Page of Pentacles. Some of you may be um, kind of waiting for word about a new job. Sometimes pages can indicate that you're beginning a new job. And um, there's a sense of wanting to find out what's going to happen. Uh, some people may go back to school. This is the card for students. I would say that if it is something that you've gone back to school, it may be that you're trying to get some kind of certification or something that's practical because pentacles deal with um, trying to do something to further your education that directly will affect your bank account. The past influence on the situation is the King of Cups. Some people may have gone through some kind of a counseling uh, because you were a bit confused about which direction to go in life. This can also be influence from the Father that is affecting your career matters. But please remember that um, if you are trying to honor apparent by going into a certain line of work you better like what you're doing because that you can't honor somebody else and be miserable yourself it doesn't work life doesn't work that way and you do have your own path to follow so make sure that whatever it is that you're trying to do now is based upon something that you really want to do for yourself and not simply because you are feeling that you owe it to a parent to take a certain job or, you know, to go down a certain path. The spiritual message is represented by the chariot. And one uh, interpretation of the, the chariot is that 
it's showing a victory. This is a, a card of success. But it, you know, as a spiritual message, it's to me, I connect it with meditation because you may have um, heard about the, there's, there's in, um, I think it's in Hinduism, they always have the, you know, the chariot driver is our consciousness and whether or not we're driving our own when we're in control of it or if we're allowing our thoughts to get the best of us. And then we have, we don't have that uh, focus to be able to direct our energy in certain directions. Um, and I'll, if you if you kind of think about it, some people are really going through life on automatic, and they are not really engaged in their life. Usually those types of people are working jobs and they don't have a career to speak of because careers and uh, you know rely, careers uh, demand that you put some effort into things whereas jobs you can just show up every day and like a, a zombie just do your work and leave but with careers sometimes you have to go to a lot of times you have to go to school you have to train, in other words, for it. And you, in order to maintain it, you may have to get additional training, and that's kind of what the Page of Pentacles is about. But you do this, you may have other distractions in your life, and you're able to kind of um, succeed in spite of these things because you put your mind to it. And so... I would say it's a spiritual message that you can achieve pretty much anything you want if you put your mind to it. Anything reasonable. The challenge here is represented by the Page of Wands. So this can be that you're hearing news, but it's more you're more in this state of mind that is very like all business. This is a card of feeling joy. So um, some Scorpio people may feel like, okay, I have to buckle down and I have to do certain things because I want to uh, experience more success in my life. But where is the joy? And so that is something to consider. If you're doing something, again, you may be training for something, but if you're doing it for someone else or you're just doing it for the glory or the money, then that can, will not necessarily sustain you. It probably won't over time. Especially with a sign like Scorpio because you are very passionate um, and and if you don't really feel something, it's going to be hard for you to convey a sense of enthusiasm about it. Which is really what um, the Page of Wands is about. Oh my gosh, we've got so many messages here. What is coming in is represented by the Page of Swords. So, um, make sure that, and you probably, this could be advice, or, it's, or you're going to do this anyway, investigate all offers, especially if they're far away, because you don't want to travel halfway across the world for a job that turns out to be a complete scam. Um, the Page of Swords is about uh, kind of investigation on your part, becoming like a spy and figuring something out. Um, if you're like in a current job, maybe you're not looking for a job, but you want a promotion, you may, <clears throat> you may have gotten training for it and you're waiting for that good news that isn't coming. The outcome could be that you discover 
that you never were even up for it. That something can happen to reveal uh, what's really going on. And it can be quite... I don't want to say devastating because that sounds too negative, but something that um, so was very surprising to you. Maybe you've been lied to at work and you're waiting for that success that someone was just stringing you along. But the great thing about the tower is that it explodes all of the lies so that you realize what's really going on and you, you no longer have to be living in the dark about it. And depending on your particular situation, you may decide that um, you may even be able to be compensated for it if somebody did something wrong, you know. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start reading the Akashic Tarot and see what that says. Caught in the Ruins In the ruins of a medieval castle, there is an old prison. The bars are still intact, but there is no roof over the room, and vines grow over the stones. A man and woman are inside, seated on old stools. A beautiful green forest grows to the left, while the castle ruins extend to the right. This card shows a dark or difficult situation that seems to have you trapped. It could be... A hurtful, empty relationship, an unhappy or stultifying job, a behavioral or actual addiction, or even a negative sabotaging belief system. It has held you captive for some time and may have even begun in the past, in, may have even begun in some past life. But there is a way out as there has always been. It just takes some effort and determination on your part. Even if these limiting situations and actions are strong, they are self-imposed. The courage and strength required to change lie within you. You must change each faulty belief and every sabotaging choice as they happen. If you do nothing, you'll perpetuate your attachment to this dark situation. Like the crumbling castle, negative choices could stand for a long time to come. Don't let the ruins of your past ruin your future. You have the power to climb out now. And this is kind of a catalyst for change, sudden change, um, breakthroughs. So um, don't be too discouraged if you find that it's hard for you to change because you could do it. Okay, this one seems like it's going to be more mellow. It's called The Muse. The Muse plays a song of upliftment and imagination. The petals of inspiration drift upon the wind, filling the air with light and creativity. This card shows a time of very heightened resourcefulness and inventiveness for you. Any creative project, new or old, can receive exceptional energy now, both from you and from the universe. Call to the spirit muses and let them join you and the creator within to lift your project to the skies. Amen. And then let's look at the Keepers of Light. I did tell you that I um, did not do the Shekinah because I had just gotten that and I didn't even uh, cut the cards at all. Krishna, you trust your spiritual guide, devotion it says underneath Krishna. Trust your spiritual, I want to show the peacock feather, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Krishna is a Hindu god who is known as a Mahavatar, a great avatar, and embodies divine wisdom. One of India's best-loved gods, he is an approachable, kind, loving, and supportive guide. He is a peaceful being with a great love for all people and the animals. He is often depicted with a calf or a lamb, which is a symbol of innocence and a peacock feather on his head, which is said to honor the Divine Feminine. He was the spiritual guide of the warrior so Arjuna, as related in the Hindu epic Bhagavad Gita, which is really a story of choosing love over fear, and helps us move beyond the limitations and wars 
our ego creates in our mind and maybe even in the world around us. His twin flame is Radha. You have a deep spiritual connection and must trust the guidance that's coming through. Your devotion to the spiritual path has been recognized. It may feel as if you've been on a mental emotional battlefield, but there are sweet messages of hope around you now. Krishna is here to boost your sense of connection to the divine and encourage you to act from your soul. If a decision needs to be made, ask yourself what will honor your soul and those around you. If you can choose the best for all involved, then you will feel closer, feel even closer to the divine. Okay. Well, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your bliss report for January and February. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Take care of yourselves. Bye.